Skakers, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm so excited to do a What's in My Handbag Flight Attendant Edition. So if you are into this kind of videos, keep on watching. So let's get right into it. This is the bag that we use for work. We actually have a choice. We either, we either carry this bag or a bigger bag. It's like a briefcase and it can put on many, like much more. So I usually use that. But for the sake of the video, I'll be using this handbag because it's pretty and <laughs> it's very nice. Actually, this handbag is very durable. It's made of leather and it's quite thick. If you can see, the thing it's just difficult to use it because it's like very unflexible because it's very like um, leather and it's very hard. So that's it. So let's start. First things first. The most important thing that you should have in your handbag is your documents. So in this little bag, within my handbag, I keep all my documents. Like my passport, right? And um, my licenses are written here, are put here. So it's inside there. <laughs> I have so many things inside. And my vaccines and my ID is here. So. Yeah, so all of the important things are here. If I don't have this on a flight or on my um, reporting and I don't have this, that means I cannot go for a flight. So this is very important. So next thing that we have in here is, let's start from the outside. I must have a bunch of pens. It's so important to have lots of pens. Um, they say you would know that you're a real cabin crew if you have pens from different airports. So I have your Marriott, I have your Holiday Inn, and I don't know what this is, Sheraton. So I have much more actually, and I keep them here in my desk. You can see I have so much more pens in here. Oops. So yeah, I only carry the ones that my bag can carry, so <laughs> I only carry three. And right here, also an important item as a flight attendant is band-aids. These are my band-aids. I just actually have, oh, my wound here. I have a wound here that just healed. I used to just wrap around the band-aid here. I get wounded everywhere. I would just wake up one day and see, oh, I have a bruise. Oh, ooh, I have like a wound and I don't know where I got it. So it's important for me as well as for passengers, sometimes they will ask for bandages or band-aids because they got hurt or something and um, you don't want to open the first aid kit just because for a plaster or a band-aid. So it's handy if you have them on your bag. And Alright, the next thing outside here that is easy to reach is my collection of teas. <laughs> I'm a tea person, I don't drink coffee. But I love my teas, yo. So I have different teas for every occasion. Peppermint is for bloating, um, if I eat too much. Chamomile if I want to sleep, if I'm in a hotel and I can't sleep because I'm not used to the environment or what you call in Filipino na mamahay. I use this tea and it's very effective. I could really get to sleep in that. And also if I'm just generally not feeling well, I use green tea. So yeah. It's nice, but in the morning, I love to have my English breakfast tea. So I don't have it here, but that's my favorite in the morning. So next item on my bag is a small notebook. This notebook is where I will put um, the details of the flight. Every flight, I will just take notes during our briefing. Sometimes I will put on the latest memo on this note because they will ask us about that. It's like an oral, oral exam if you know the latest memo from the company and also I will put who I'm flying with, how many hours we're flying to them, things like that. So this one I got from Daiso and it's very cute. So next important thing is my bag. 
headsets. Headsets are very important. If I leave them at home, I'll be like so depressed because uh, going to work, I will take the bus and it will take like 20 minutes to go to work and going back home as well if you're really tired. Just pop on some earpieces and then, you know, just relax away your day or something like that. So this is very important. What I have in my bag, of course, is my phone. Just make sure that it's fully charged. And yeah, basically you need your phone if the crew controller will call you to change your flight or something like that. And also to do social media while on the bus. So that's important. Yes, with the phone comes with the wallet, right? So on my wallet, I just have my um, some cash, my cards, and very important thing to have always is your insurance card. So I have here my insurance card somewhere. Yes, this is my insurance card. I, be, I keep it in my wallet instead of the important documents pouch because the insurance card I will use even if I'm not working. So if I'm going somewhere just to make sure that I have my insurance card, I just keep it on my wallet. And anyways, if I go to the flight, I always bring my wallet. So it's important to have it because you never know what will happen to you and you never know when you will need it. So yeah, insurance card in the wallet. Check. Dun, 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 dun. And the next thing is I have a different kind of wallet. It's kind of bulky and it takes lots of space but I keep it on my handbag because it carries money. So this is something that I bought in the Philippines in the shop called Biabi. And it's pretty neat because it's uh, actually originally a receipt holder. It's just like um, while it with different things like this, like this. Okay, so I use it to keep all my money from different countries. I like it better because it is a, a place where I could also put coins. Because, you know, sometimes I get coins and if I only use the one for the bills, you know, it's different. So this is very handy. I like it. My colleague has it and when I saw it, like, I gotta have those. <laughs> and uh, I have a tissue because I usually get colds from just about anything. I'm allergic to, I have allergic rhinitis, so sometimes when the weather change, I get colds right away. But these are my sunny shades. I love sunnies because it's not too expensive, but it's very trendy and I love the design. So if I lost them, I wouldn't be crying a river. But yeah, I like their design. So this is my favorite shades from sunnies. And yeah, it's important to have shades when you're doing a flight because when you come back if for example you're doing a night flight and then when you come back it's morning then the sun is like psh, really hot and especially living in the desert this is important protect your eyes girls <laughs> so yeah shades and the next thing I gotta have my small medicine medicine kit or my small first aid kit because like I said I get um, allergies sometimes and I have here my anti-allergy medicine I have here my eye drops sometimes my eyes go red so bad and yeah some burn ointment put in a small bottle because I burn myself a lot especially when I'm working in the galley as you know, as the galley crew, and I'm not used to it up yet. Even though if I have my gloves, sometimes I still burn some areas of my skin, and this is very, very nice to have. Okay, so this is my allergy medicine. This is air use, and um, just some pain meds if I had my period and I have to work and um some also i'm allergic <laughs> to sweets so i have like a hydrochloride anti-allergy like lozenge gotta have my meds and lastly okay so i also have this pouch of crystals from a new age store i like these protection pouches because um i got the one that is like uh for grounding and for protection because I get so affected by energy most of the time 
I'm an introvert and when I go, I'm an introvert, I, I, I'm an introvert and an empath at the same time. So sometimes if I get to be uh, stuck in a plane for a long time with people that are very negative or very depressed or very like sick, I kind of get the, what they are feeling. I kind of like, it kind of passes to me. I know this sounds cuckoo, but guys, this is a real thing because I, I have gone through with it and I find it better or good for me to have this around as a protection for me because if I just focus on the energy from the stones, then it will protect me from all the negativity and bad vibes that's running around. Also, I want this in any new place that I will be going because I'm afraid of ghosts. So I believe that if I have them under my pillow or if I'm close to this um, charm uh, crystals, then the ghost will not be able to like haunt me or something. Anyways, this is just my belief, guys. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> okay, next. I have here my um, my beauty stuff. I just put them in a Ziploc case or a Ziploc plastic bag because some airports are very strict when it comes to liquids. And if you don't have it on a Ziploc, then they're gonna check everything on your uh, on your bag and it's gonna be like a long you know it's gonna take some time before they let go of you so <laughs> yeah so okay I was just checking what else in my bag so anyways let's get into this thing inside my bag it's important that I have my lotion this lotion is very nice and it's not so good it's from Germany it's very cheap as well so you always get dry skin on air so it's important to have your hand lotion and then your lip balm so this is the lip balm, lip balm that I use Oops. <laughs> it, it's just generic uh, lip balm mostly like a uh, petroleum jelly but this one is recommended by my uh, dermatologist so I liked it and this is very good for winter time as well so just a basic lip balm and I have of course my alcohol and some my germs, you know, just to keep myself clean. And this is a mist. I had this, I just recently bought this one. This is from Face Shop. I love this because your as I said, the aircraft is very dry and the air is very dry. So this helps keep my skin, especially my facial skin, you know, um, moist and moisturized. Also, the tool helped me, I don't know, but I'm getting wrinkles now because I'm getting old, so I just like to spray it like this. Mmm, smells so good. It, whew, it's so nice. This is brand new actually. I'm using a different one, but it's too big to put in the bag, so I'm using this right now. I used to use the Evian, but then I started experimenting with the Korean rice because it smells so good and I feel like it's more organic and there's more into it than everyone will ever have so <laughs> I'm using things from Korea so right now this is also from uh, the face shop so this is smaller so I like using it so I also like to spray my neck Whew. and my face so yeah this is their best seller they told me so you might want to check that out by the way, guys, I'm not getting, uh, I'm not really, I'm not being sponsored in this video, so all of these things are <laughs> mine, and I wish I was sponsored, maybe someday, but right now I'm not. So, uh, but anyways, I'm gonna help you find the things that I have here uh, online. Maybe you could order them online or whatever. Maybe you can find them in Lazada because I'm an affiliate with Lazada, so you could check out the links that I will put on the description box below so if you want to buy some of these things then an easy way to buy it is to go buy it online and the next thing I have here is just my favorite nail polish from OPI this one's got the blues for red I like this one but right now I have a different nail polish but you have to have it in case that your nail polish got chipped and then you have to do all over again everything so always have it handy and I have uh, let's, see. let's do this first I have uh, dental floss because when you're eating and 
you know it's how annoying it is when you have so many like you were eating and you have something stuck in your teeth and you can't get it even with a toothpick so I have a teeth that has spaces in between so I really need to have dental floss whenever wherever I go so yeah to prevent myself from embarrassment <laughs> anyways I also have Katinko. This is very um, essential for me, having Katinko everywhere I go because I usually get muscle cramps around here, so I would massage myself with it. And also, if I cannot sleep in a new place, because I'm so used to using Katinko before to sleep, I just kind of have the illusion that I am at home if I put this on my back, if I'm in a new place, so that, you know, I will still feel like familiar and safe to sleep or something. So yeah, Katinko. Also it's handy if the aircraft and the... It's just a little secret, okay? If people, some people in the aircraft are smelling very bad and every time you have to pass them, I would just like smell like Katinko. <laughs> That's just one way to cope with that. And last but not least, I have my lipsticks. This one's the bright red one, and this one's uh, dark red from Sephora. And I love using, uh, I need to have this handy and um, outside in my handbag because when I'm working, sometimes I have to like uh, eat and drink, and then suddenly my lipstick's all out and I look like a ghost. <laughs> so I would usually use uh, my lip balm and then follow up with uh, lipstick. Okay, almost done guys. <laughs> for those of you who have stuck till the end, thanks so much for staying with me and looking to what's in my handbag. And I hope you're enjoying so far. And last but not least, I have these sleeping aids. This one is for the ears, earplugs. And this one is a mask. Uh, I got this when I was a passenger uh, from our plane. I didn't even get this while I was working, okay? So, <laughs> I got this, um, I have this because there are times that you can rest during a flight, like you are allowed to have like a, one, a 30 minutes rest if your flight is more than 6 hours. Then for me to be able to sleep, I will need to, put, to, to take away all distractions, I, I need my earplugs, my eye mask and um, I need to put Katinko on my back so that I can sleep because man, it's so hard to sleep especially if um, in the airplane somebody's talking and they're like having like an animated conversation you know so that is uh, just one thing to help me sleep so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed what's inside my handbag now you know everything <laughs> <laughs> and if you have any questions or suggestions for whatever just put it on the comments down below like this video if you like it and share it to your friends if you think that they would um, benefit from it and I will see you guys on the next video bye